Hello YouTube, it's Austin with another Project 24 update. In this video, I am going to update you on four sites for the month of August 2019. Let's get started. All right, so as I just mentioned, I am going to update you on four of my sites uh, for the month of August 2019. I just want to do a quick review and overview of what Project 24 is. Project 24 is a course created by Jim and Ricky, the owners and operators of Income School. Basically, what they have done is they have put together a series of mini courses that um, combine to one giant, one giant uh, main course, I should say, about content marketing. Now, if you're not familiar with Income School, I definitely urge you to check them out. I have a number of videos on my progress with uh, four or five sites with Project 24. Um, if you are just getting into internet marketing or you want to make money online and you don't really know where to start with regard to creating content, it's certainly a good course to, to start and check out. Um, currently, when I first started the, the, the program in September 7th of 2018, uh, they were just a blogging course or a course about blogging primarily. Since then, they have added a free theme, the free avocado theme, avocado, avocado theme. And they've also added a YouTube course. So if you are looking to make money online, you're looking for some sort of success, uh, there is a link in the description to Project 24. Uh, click that link if you want to get started. Uh, anyway, as I mentioned, I am going to update you on four of my sites. Uh, the site that you now see on your screen is my largest site it currently has uh, somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts in addition there are around um, 35 there are around 35 youtube videos i think i have about 40 subscribers currently uh, with my youtube channel um, and i'm uploading one youtube video every single um once once a week so as you can see, for the month of 2019, I have 2,014 page views, 1,067 unique views, average time on page 31 seconds, bounce rate 21.27. One thing to, to note and to mention, I believe halfway through last month, the, the month of August, I changed my theme from X theme to the theme that uh, Income School Jim and Ricky had created for free and have given out to Project 24 students and there has been a dramatic drop in my bounce rate. So if, if that's important to you, if you're looking for a way to make your website, your blog website faster, if you're looking to keep people on your website longer, make sure that you check out uh, Project 24 and their, their theme um, because it's, a, it's an amazing theme. I actually have a video about um, the, the change from, from one, from alstongodbolt.com from one premium theme to, to this theme, and there's a notable noticeable difference with regard to the page speed. Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm over 2,000 page views, which is pretty good. Uh, what I should do, what I could do, potentially start looking at different ad companies. Um, it might still be kind of early to get to, to some of the big ones. I actually, quite honestly, I removed um, uh, Amazon AdSense or excuse me, I removed uh, Google at the beginning of this month when I switched themes. And so uh, I haven't really made any money directly from, from ads. But uh, because I'm up over 2,000 page views and I believe that I this is the second month in a row, maybe even the third, where I'm over that threshold, I should probably start looking into some of those other opportunities. So, all right, so let's take a look at where my, my traffic is coming from. Um, 411 from or 40 almost 50 percent come from organic search followed by direct social and referral while that looks good um, quite honestly the organic search isn't in my opinion where it should be um, as you'll see on the next page here most of my traffic comes from um, Yahoo Bing and DuckDuckGo I do not get as you can see down here ranking number eight I currently don't get as much traffic from Google organic as other sites at, at this age, it's about a year old. Um, and I believe personally, I, be, I believe that can be attributed to two things. One, my first 30 or so blog post, um, keyword research wasn't done. I probably tried to create content that was too competitive, um, for the, the type of content that I created. Uh, so the keyword research wasn't very good there. Uh, also, I believe that this niche fun, uh, falls under um, your money or your life. It, it could be considered that if 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 you um, if I sat down and really thought about it, an argument could be made for that. So as you can see, Google is present, but not not at the top where it should be. 
Now, if you're new to blogging, you're not sure what I'm talking about. The reason why you want Google to be the, the number one or number two is because Google is the number one search engine in the world. And if I if Google was uh, up there, number one, number two, that means my, my traffic essentially would probably double or even triple at this point. So yeah, it, it's imperative if you're blogging that you want to get your 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 sites recognized by Google. Um, unfortunately, Google would probably never tell me directly why that's happening. But um, the, the let's talk about some of the good things. Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, all doing very well. Quora is doing well as well. Um, I have a plugin called Blog to Social that uh, automatically fans out all of my my blog posts, and actually, it has it's on a schedule now uh, for the next I would say maybe 25 weeks. It automatically gets sent out to Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, and then Bing, and then actually uh, YouTube is number seven. So it is imperative that you should consider doing YouTube as a part of your your blogging program or your blogging business plan if you really want to maximize the amount of money that you can make as you can see with youtube i basically create a youtube video and i point people back to my website and for the last month i had 24 people go from youtube to my website which is a good sign all right the final thing that we're going to talk about for this first site is where my traffic comes from as you can see the top three are united states united kingdom and canada Actually, the top four or five I would consider are developed countries. And so that's a good thing. That's kind of where you want the traffic to come from. So that is my first site, site number one. All right, site number two, it has, I believe it has between 30 and 40 blog posts. It only has 10 YouTube videos. And this site actually does very well in the, in the eyes of Google. Um, it is found on Google. As you can see, uh, 511 page views, 474 unique views, average time on page four minutes and 17 seconds, um, bounce rate of 91.35%. This site actually has X theme still on it, and so that's why you see the bounce rate actually a little bit different. Uh, if we go to the next page, as you can see, organic search leads by a great margin, followed by direct, social, and referral. And then if we take a closer look uh, on this site, whoops, on this site, uh, Google is the dominating factor, followed by Direct, Facebook, Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo, YouTube again. And with this one, I only have 10 videos, and those videos are, are old and have been up there for some time, uh, followed by Facebook. And then this is where the traffic comes from. Again, the top four or five are developed countries. Are is basically what you want to see if you're creating a blog site that you hope to monetize a few different ways. Um, these countries, the top four, quite honestly, are going to be countries that are, are, are important for, for ad networks because they can charge more, uh, versus some of the other countries that are listed that, uh, will not, will not generate the return on investment that they'd be looking for. So it's important that if you're blogging, you're getting into making money online, that you have, you create content for people that, to get them to, to take an action, which is buying and also to target create content around uh, developed countries, unless you're not in it for the money. Um, so that is site number two. Site number three, this site I call a travel site. Um, this site is learnkenosha.com. And I, I, I've mentioned this a few different times, but I created this, con this, I created this website as an idea uh, of selling ad space to Kenosha, Kenosha businesses. Uh, Kenosha is between Milwaukee and Chicago, and so uh, the cost for ads and, and stuff like that can be a little bit more expensive because we're considered a suburb of Chicago. I actually have a, a blog on there answering the question, are we a suburb of Chicago? Check it out if you haven't already done so. Anyway, continuing on, 67 page views, 63 unique views. This one only has probably about 15 blog posts or so. Uh, as I mentioned, the original plan was to sell ad space uh, to local businesses of, of, of Kenosha Racine and maybe even Northern Illinois. Um, so yeah, so I, I haven't really spent a lot of time. One of the ideas that I did have was creating a, a, a YouTube channel where I would talk to different businesses in and around Kenosha, talk to, to local celebrities, and kind of just drive traffic that way. That would be a great opportunity because it's not something that is done um, for this market. People kind of grav gravitate to 
um, Chicago and Milwaukee, but but Kenosha, there's a great opportunity there to make money if someone is interested. Next is the traffic. As you can see, organic search, direct, social, and referral. If we take a closer look, again, Google has no issue with this site. Uh, although it, it, it was, uh, there was more traffic coming from Google at one point, direct, Facebook, Bing, Facebook again, um, Pinzu, and then webmail.learnkenosha.com. That's weird. Uh, and finally, this is where the traffic comes. Um, quite honestly, if the traffic is coming from anywhere outside of the United States, if it's coming anywhere outside the Midwest, I tend to think that it's um, a spam or, or someone trying to hack the site. That is site number three. Uh, site number four, and I like to show this one because this one is my smallest site. There are less than 15 blog posts on it. Um, and this one actually has the X theme theme as well. Um, 424 page views, 394 unique views, time on page six minutes, 58 seconds, um, bounce rate 91.07% and X percent of 92.24. Now the cool thing with this site is that there are, aren't any pictures. There's just a logo. Um, I, I don't even remember what the color scheme is, but it's very basic, very plain. There isn't really anything on the site as well. And it's still um, not having too much of an issue finding traffic. So as you can see, um, organic search, direct referral, social. Um, organic is leading the way at almost 91%. Next is where the traffic comes from. As you can see, Google organic followed by direct Bing, Yahoo, uh, AOL for the two people that still use AOL, DuckDuckGo, Facebook, and then Pinzu.xyz again, and then UK, Yahoo. And then finally, this is where the traffic comes from. Again, it makes sense. United States, United Kingdom, Australia, and then India. All right, so definitely check out Project 24 if you haven't already done so. There is a link in the description that says Project 24. Click that link to be taken to uh, Project 24 to learn more about content marketing. Also, the first link in the description talks a little bit more about affiliate marketing. If you have knowledge gaps, if you have questions about affiliate marketing, definitely check out some of my other videos. Also, check out the that first link in the description. If you click that first link in the description, it'll also give you a free guide to email marketing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a huge proponent of email marketing. So click that first link, get that free guide to email marketing, and I'll see you in the next video.